Hey guys, what is going on? It's your time here. I'm excited. You guys are watching some The Crew, and we are in the Fairly Z. I just bought this car. Um, I'll show you guys what the customizations I did to it. Um, and it's pretty much a long 40 cap that. I haven't really done anything yet. But um, I really want to talk about what my opinions are on the new Need for Speed. And I really want to get it because that would be a next, you know, racing game that I can make some videos off. And I feel bad because um, I don't have Grand Turismo 6 right now. So I can't actually put any footage of Grand Turismo 6 and do any car builds. So, I'm, you know, I kind of want to know what your guys' opinion is on Need for Speed and if I should get it just to make some videos off. Because, you know, if it's going to be really popular... And then I really want to, you know, work on the game. So, uh, let me know if you guys, so if my horrible uh, driving, oh. uh, you know, I really want to know what, what you guys are you know, is it going to be like the crew, or, you know, because the drifting on here is not the best, um, and from the videos that I watched from the Need for Speed, it doesn't look that good anyways. It, I know it's all about drifting, but it just doesn't look um, very pleasing to watch anyone drift in the game because it looks like you just click a button and you hold down the throttle. And I just don't. Let's go to Let's try it. We're over here in California. Ooh. Ooh, there's traffic over here. Let's see. Let's go down. Let's go on these back roads. Alright. Let's go for him. Now I pretty much just got this Z. Um, it's a pretty good car. Um, this thing's okay in it. But back to the top of guys, need for speed. What is your opinion on it? Are you guys gonna get it? And if so, uh, you know, I'm going to be an interesting team to play with, get some sideways videos. But is it really worth it? $60 to buy a game? Um, like, the crew is a pretty big game when they were, you know, showing the trailers and stuff. All the customizations and all the cool things you can do to the cars. But when the game dropped, it wasn't very good, I could say. Um, I had a lot of false hope into this game. And I actually thought it was gonna be a pretty good game, but you know, a lot of people like it. I just, I just don't really care for it. It's just, you know, after playing Grand Turismo 6, it's just not very, not very, um, not like it kind of resembles, um, you know, like those arcade racing games. And I just really don't care for it. But since Need for Speed has a lot more customizations and they're allowing, you know, drift controls and stuff, I kind of actually want to see how the drifting is going to be and if people are actually going to be, you know, drifting a lot. So I might get the game to do some tune setups, you know, car builds, whatever. Um, and let me know if you guys want to see some car builds in that game and see some drift sesh. But pretty much it, guys, you know, um, let me know if you guys want to see some crew videos. I'll throw it a little bit sideways in sixth gear. <laughs> but, pretty basic guys, you know, I want to see what you guys think about Need for Speed and if it's worth it. Alright, let's go.